My name is Dr. Quan McKenzie. I'm a professor of psychiatry at the University of Toronto and a senior scientist at the Centre for Addiction and Mental Health in Toronto. I'm also the director of the Social Etiology and Mental Illness Training Programme. That's a training programme that has been funded by the Canadian Institutes of Health Research and is for postmasters and postdoctoral students to come to us for a year to learn about the social etiology of mental illness. Now we know that there have been great strides in our understanding of mental illness. So a lot of that has been understanding the genetics, understanding the biology. But the thing I'm interested in um, comes from a clinical problem. If you have two people, identical twins, and one of them develops schizophrenia, the other one only has a 50% chance of developing schizophrenia. Identical twins, exactly the same genes, but only 50% chance. That means there's a lot going on in the environment for even some of the uh, illnesses that people think are biological, like schizophrenia. And that's what excites me. I want to know what it is about the environment, about the social setting that increases people's risk for, schi for schizophrenia and serious mental illnesses, as well as depression, anxiety and all of the other illnesses that we know are a great burden on uh, individuals themselves and also our economy. This is, in my opinion, where we're going to make the biggest changes. It's very interesting and it's very exciting to look at the um, human genome and learn all about genes, but in the end the genes work in the real world and it's the real world that we're interested in researching. Now, our training programs a year. It's based in Toronto. People have to come to Toronto at least for the first 10 weeks and then uh, during that time there's an intensive course which tells people all about the social etiology of mental illness. It's not just the theory, it's not just the sociology, we also do some philosophy, the philosophy of uh, medicine and philosophy of medical research. We also uh, teach you how to present, as well as teaching you how to work with other people from other disciplines. We teach you about uh, community-based research, as well as lab-based research. We have geneticists, we have epidemiologists, we have sociologists, we have anthropologists, we have geographers, we have people actually from all over the University of Toronto as well as from across the world who will be teaching. Now all of those won't be in person, we use webinars and all electronic media as well as face-to-face -face teaching in that 10 weeks. At the end of the 10 weeks we're then into one-to-one -one learning. You'll join a research team uh, either with an idea that you want to follow or with one of their ideas and for 40 weeks you will have one-to-one -one mentoring on research methods and on a piece of research uh, by some of the top people in the field. That will include people like Jim Van Os who is at the University of Maastricht but also runs the European Centre for Epigenetics and Gene Environment Interaction. It will include people in South Africa people at the London School of Economics in England and also people in local centres around Toronto. Every year people are joining the Sami family and we're growing. This could give you an unparalleled chance to launch your career in research. If you want to be the best, you're the sort of person we want to apply.